Uh, in this video, I will explain how to find the partial fraction decomposition of a rational expression. And I will be doing number 3 from 6.4. So the expression given to us is x plus 13 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. And so we're going to rewrite this expression as partial fractions with constant numerators a and b and denominators that are linear factors of the original denominator. And so what this looks like, well, first we need to factor the denominator. And so we have x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. And then this can be grouped and take out an x x plus 3, take out a 4, x plus 3, and so this factors down to x plus 4 times x plus 3. So these are our new denominators for the partial fraction. And so that looks like, so we have x plus 13 over x squared plus 7x plus 12, and this is equal this is equal to a over x plus 4 plus b over x plus 3. And so we're going to multiply by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is x squared plus 7x plus 12. And so that's going to give us x plus 13 is equal to a times x plus 3 plus b times x plus 4. And so now we're going to multiply it all out using the distributive property. And so we get ax plus 3a plus bx plus 4b. And so we're get, we can group like terms now and uh, use this to form two new equations. So we're going to group all the x's. So we have right there, this guy. We have the ax and then the bx. So from this, we get a plus b is equal to 1. And then now we can group uh, 13, 3a, and 4b. And so, from this, we get 3a plus 4b is equal to 13. And so, we can use these two new equations in order to form uh, a matrix. And so, we're going to use the inverse of the matrices in order to solve for a and b. And so, the new matrix looks like 1, 1, 3, 4... And then, so this is matrix A, and then we have matrix X, which we're solving for A and B, and this is equal to matrix B, which is 1 and then 13. And then, so using a graphing calculator, we can enter these matrix matrices in, and then we can calculate the inverse of A times B matrix B is equal to X. And so in this case we get X is equal to negative 9 over 10. And so we can sub these new values into the um, original expression in order, to for in order to form the partial fraction decomposition. And so, so now we know a equals negative 9 and b equals 10. And so we get x plus 13 over x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to negative 9 over x plus 4 plus 10 over x plus 3.
And so now we have the partial fraction decomposition. And that is how you find the partial fraction decomposition of rational expression. Thank you.